I'm pleased that day three is looking at nature-based solutions for our green problems. And nature can play a vital role, I think, in tackling many of the, the major problems facing mankind today, not just in Wales, but all over the world. Of course, we're talking about things like climate change. We all know that now we have a warming climate, a warming planet. We know that the weather is unpredictable, much to the detriment of agriculture and wildlife, of course. We know that we have rising carbon. We know that we are losing vast areas of forests. And through nature, through wildlife, we should be able to tackle these. You know, we, we know that peatlands, peat areas, they will lock away carbon for us. We should be restoring peats. We should be planting deciduous woodlands in Wales to help tackle this problem. Also to help tackle flooding too. We should also be restoring our hay meadows. We've lost nearly 98% of them in Wales since the end of the Second World War. We know that since the late 60s, we've lost 44 million birds. The lapwings, the curlews of my childhood have virtually gone now. So I beseech everybody to come together. Nobody can do this alone. There's no point asking conservationists. They don't own the land. So we must work together with farmers, with landowners, with foresters and with politicians too. And it'll be to all of our benefit, not just for the benefit of the planet and the wildlife. We know that mental health issues are a huge problem these days. And we already know that nature is part of the solution for this. Physical health too. People being overweight is a massive issue these days. And again, encouraging people to get out and about into wildlife, into the countryside, to get active, will help to tackle this and other associated issues. So enjoy the day, but please, above all else, put politics, put differences, put personal interest to one side and let's tackle this problem together. Let's tackle it through nature. Thank you for listening.